everyone. Today's workout is going to be a total body strength workout. So we're going to be working the whole nine yards, biceps, triceps, shoulders, back, legs, and core work. Um, the only equipment you'll need is some assortment of free weights if you have them, as well as some tubing. Now I'm going to show you a couple of traditional tubings to have. One would be a band with, a, with handles, which is a resistance tubing, come with different um, resistances. Um, so this is one thing to have, which I'll probably be using today. Um, another would be a looped band. And these come in different resistances as well. Or, I found this in my garage, and this is a um, bungee cord. All right, so this works out fabulous as a resistance tubing. So, I mean, we're gonna be doing some exercise, some biceps and triceps here that we can easily use this bungee. How creative. So these times require some creative thinking. Um, so there might be some things laying around your house that you can utilize. Uh, another thing that I found that you could utilize would be maybe in your closet is a stretchy belt. All right, so I have this little cool belt, which I probably haven't worn in like 10, 15 years, if that. Um, it's got a little leopard, so it's pretty fashionable now. But it can be used as a resistance tubing. All right, so we can use it for some chest. We can use it for some lat pull downs. Um, you can use it for some tricep. So, you know, we gotta get a little creative. Now, if you don't have any of those things, you can still do some of the workouts without even any weight. You'll just have to use a little bit more mind-muscle connection or even a towel for some of the exercise and simulate that. But don't underestimate the power of that mind-muscle, okay? You can't get a good workout and work those muscle groups without it. All right, so let's get started in our warm-up. We're just gonna come into a deadlift. Actually, not a deadlift to start, but it's a, a good morning, which is gonna kind of work the same components of a deadlift. Bring your fingertips behind your ears, chin and chest high, elbows stay back. You're gonna hinge, just like you do in a deadlift, you're gonna hinge forward, you're gonna come halfway, flat back and stand right up. So think about this as a stretch on the way down and a squeeze of the glutes on the way up. So you're gonna hinge and stand. Now we're gonna be starting with a deadlift sequence. Um, it's gonna be kind of a flow where we have about five exercises and you're just gonna keep adding on. So you're gonna hinge here. Make sure you get that stretch in the back of your legs. Keeping those elbows open wide so you can stretch, open that chest and activate your back. Good. Hinge it, feel the stretch, and come on up. So start thinking about activating already. Stretch and squeeze. Stretch and squeeze. So I want you to remember when we do these deadlifts that your head and neck stays in a neutral position and that you don't shrug those shoulders forward. All right, nice and easy. Stretch it out. Good work. Excellent. We got five more. Squeeze. Think of activating. Don't just go through the motions. Four. Here's three. Good, elbows stay open, two. Here's your last one right here. Hinge and stand. So we're just gonna come into a squat. You're gonna jack those arms and you're gonna lunge. You're gonna stay on the same side. So it's squat, lunge, down and up. Excellent, inhale, breathe, chest, chest high, good. Awesome, stretch. Good, really use that full range of motion in those arms. Lowering that back knee, if you have good healthy knees, not stay to the top of your move. You got five more. Four. Three. Two, we're going one more here. And one, now we're gonna switch legs. Do the same thing, so it starts with that squat with those lunge jacks, here we go. Squat it out, lunge it back. Big reach with those arms. it out. Good job. Good. How you doing? Getting low in the squat. You got five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. We're going to do one more. Yeah, shake it out. Beautiful, bring those arms up wide. We're gonna bring one leg out to the side as we military press this. So drive it up, pull it down. Lift, lower. Lift, 
Lower. Good. Some strong pushing off that standing leg. The leg you're standing on, knee is soft. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Beautiful jab. Now we do the same thing on the other leg. This time we're going to bring those arms in and open. Here we go. Lift. Squeeze. Think of your pinkies coming towards each other. Squeezing those elbows towards each other. So you're still working your shoulders, working your chest. Your back is working every time you open and squeeze back. Of course, you've got that outer thigh working and your stabilizers as well. Keep going here. Six, five, four, three, good work. Two, and one. We're just gonna go into some half jacks. Lift those elbows. Think of your elbows, shoulders, and wrists in the same alignment. So it's not a flippity floppity lifting the elbows. Control it out. Air your armpits out. Abs in, good work. In out. Nice. Push away with those arms. Relax your shoulders, don't shrug them. We're going for another round of 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just give me some circles here. I want big retractions back, pushing down and away. Nice. Circle them out and back for four, for three, for two. Let's reverse them. So I really want you to come as big as you can on those circles, yeah. Perfect. Nice, you got five, four, three, two, and one. And we're gonna twist these arms out into a speed skater with a pulse. Twist, 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 twist. Bring those arms directly behind you. Push away, head up, good. Now I'm adding a little leap across, but you can make this a step. Nice, double pulsing here. Beautiful. Raising that heart rate a little bit. Now there's no true cardio in this workout today. All right, it's strictly strength. Now there are some compounds. Your heart rate's really gonna get up. Good. Nice work. You got two more like this. All right, last one like this. Now we're just gonna reach it down. Reach it down. Last 12, 11, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Good work. Two and one. We're just going to push back with those arms. As we do, you're going to prop forward. Push, push. Use your triceps. Good. Pushing behind you. Forward hop. And if you don't want to hop, stay stationary. Last set here for ten. Nine. Eight, seven, good work. Six, five, last four. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Roll everything out. We're gonna go down to the floor. We're gonna do a little bird dogging. Modify to start, and then full plank to finish if you can. All right, so coming into tabletop here, we're just gonna do opposite arm alternating here. So it's right, left, left right all right we just got a set of 10 this is not fast i want you to really think about opposition here here we go up switch really switch two three four should still be breathing five think about each and every one six leg behind you in line with your hips seven Eight, you got two more. Nine and 10. Now, if you find those challenging enough, I want you to do another set. If you can, I want you to come up into a full plank position. We're gonna go into alternating full body, full plank for dogs, all right? Pick your poison, go with the level that you can own. Here we go. One, another set of 10. 
two, three, really brace those abs, four, five, another set of five, five, four more, three, last two, here's your last one, hold your plank, step your right leg in, hold it, grab some inhales, beautiful, just stretching side to side here, good, you got one more each side, reach, and reach, step it back, reset your plank, other foot comes in, hold, good, give me some stretches to the side, good, one more, nice work, last one here, take your back foot, step it in, hold it here, sink side to side, push your hips back, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hike your hips to the sky. Walk your fingertips forward. Inchworm your feet together. Let your fingers hang to your toes and pull your body up. Good job. Just a couple of shoulder rolls. Nice work. Perfect. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out right here. All right. So let's grab our, let's grab some water first and then we'll get started here. So I'm gonna kind of go through this a little bit first and talk you through it so, it so you know what to expect. So we're gonna go into, I'm gonna grab a set here of 15s here to start us out. We're gonna go into one deadlift. Now remember what a deadlift is, it's not a squat. You're hinging from your hips. You hinge, your weights are as close to your legs as they possibly can, think of shaving. Neck is long, so your head and your shoulders don't scrunch over. So you'll give me one deadlift. You'll come up, squeeze your glutes. You'll go right into a squat row, then you'll stand up. We're gonna do what's called a hang clean. The weights are gonna hang right past your knees, not down here, all right? Just past your knees, and you're gonna quickly pull them up and in, hang clean them. So in essence, it's gonna look like this. Elbows pull back and you clean them. This is a clean position when that weights land here. So then we're in a wrecked position, all right? Then we're gonna squat them, then you're gonna come into a strict press. All right, we're gonna do one round of each. Then we're gonna do two rounds of each. Three, all the way up to five, increasing it up. All right, so I'm gonna start with my first round here with a 15. When I get to my, probably my third or fourth round, I'm gonna go up to 20s. I'm gonna get my body acclimated so I know what I can do, and then I'm gonna pick up some heavier weights as I get into it. Now I know what to do. You may be just kind of learning what to do. So listen to your body. All right, so let's pick up the weights. You're going into one deadlift. Roll your shoulders back. You wanna feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Squeeze your glutes when you stand. Here we go, one deadlift. Hinge and stand. Now you're gonna squat, you're gonna row, release, and stand. Now we're going into that uh, uh, hang clean position. Past your knees, clean it. All right, now you're gonna squat it in this position. Beautiful, now we're going to strict press it. Bring the arms out, press it up, lower it down to your side. Beautiful, all right, now we're going to the deadlift again. You've got two of them. Now your feet should be about shoulder width apart. So when I military press this, I step out a little further. All right, so we got two deadlifts, here we go. One, stand. Two, squeeze your glutes. Two squat rows, one, Two, pull it up and stand. Two, hang cleans. Slightly past your heel to eye knees. Zip and pull. Drive the elbows back. Good, now two, rack squats. One, two, you got two, strict press. One, two, beautiful. Now I'm gonna take this into a 20 pounder. I feel confident in what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go a little heavier. Three deadlifts, three, two, one. One, stand and squeeze. Two, stand and squeeze. Three, feel the stretch, good. Now we're going to three squat rows. Down here, one, two, three. Stand it up, you got three hang cleans. Here we go. Clean it. Drive the elbows back. Clean it. I'm driving through my feet. 
clean it, hold it here. Three rack squats, three, two, one, three military, strict press, one, two, three, good work. Bring the weights down, going into four, Deadlifts, good posture, shoulders back, four starts in three, two, one, here we go. Hinge, stand and squeeze. Hinge, stand and squeeze. Stretch and squeeze, one more. Stretch and squeeze, beautiful. Squat rows, four, all the way low. Four, three, two, one. Four, hang cleans. Pass your knees or just to your knees. Clean it, foot one, up, two, pull those elbows back. Three, brace those abs, push through your feet. Here's four, ha, squat, four, three, oh, two, up, one. All right, military press, strict, four, three, this should be getting much harder. Two, up, oh, and one, nice work. All right, we've got one more round, we're going to fives. Then we're gonna change tunes a little bit. All right, five deadlifts, here we go. Five, so right now you should be starting to feel these. Four, three, work those abs as well. Two, we got one more. Good, do not rush these squat rows. Here we go, at the base, one. Pull the elbow back, squeeze your shoulders. Two, up, three, four, good. Five, nice work. Hang cleans. Hang it, clean it. Hang it, clean it, just hinging. Three, clean it. Four, huh. here's five. Hold it, rack squats. Five, four, three, Two, you got one more, we got strict presses. Five, woo, five, four, three, these 20s are racking up here. Two, up, one, nice work. Bring those weights down, grab some water. Look good, guys. Okay, so remember those bird dogs we did in our warm up? Well, we're gonna do those again with a push up. So, if you need to modify, modify. You can do these any way you see fit. This is gonna be about a minute. So, here's what I'm looking for if you're modifying your push ups, you're gonna come into a push up position, and then you can come full body and give me one each side and then drop to those knees, come back to that modified push-up. All right, otherwise it's full body. We're going into alternate, you're gonna do one push-up, bird dog right, bird dog left. All right, pick your poison here, three, two, one. One push-up, bird dog, one side, other side, back to your push-up. I want you to focus on giving me the best push-up you can. Elbows are tracking behind you, or at an angle, not directly out to the side. Notice how slow and controlled these are. Now, if you are a rock star push-up person, you can go faster. So I've had rotator cuffs issues in the past with that two surgery. So I have to really be careful and really take my push-ups slow so I know my positioning. 10 seconds. Five seconds, do what you can, and recover. Amazing, guys. Good, roll those shoulders. Push back, put up that chest. Nice, all right. If you need some water, grab it. We're gonna go into a lunge sequence. Now I'm gonna grab a set of 15s. We're gonna start with the weights racked in our shoulders. This is a static lunge to start off with. 
So we're gonna go down and up 15 or 10 times. All right, then we're gonna bring the weights to our side for 10 times. Then we're gonna drop them off and we're just gonna go into a lunge with keeping a concentration on that front leg, body weight only. All right, so it's 30 lunges. Starting off with the weights racked up at our shoulders. All right, so let's get into our lunge position to start. Chin and chest high, rack your weights, rest them at your shoulder. We've got 10 lunges, here we go, one. Remember the deeper you lunge, two, the more glutes you're gonna recruit, three, but you need healthy knees, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more. Beautiful, now bring the weights to your side, another set of 10, 10. So just by where you position those weights to kind of changes up three, the dynamic of the exercise. Four, five, six, good work. Seven, eight, should be starting to feel those legs. Nine, got one more, and 10, nice. Now bring those weights to your side. We're gonna go just into a lunge step 10 times. I'm gonna keep a concentration. I'm gonna stay a little lower and put a lot of weight on that front leg. Here we go. One, two, three, hello, four, five, six, my butt's on fire, seven, eight, nine, oh my God, 10. Wow. So I really felt that forward leg, that stationary leg. Yowza. Okay, good work guys. Good news is, we only have one more round. Bad news is, we have another round. All right, of course you're probably gonna see this again, but for now, we just chip away one thing at a time. All right, let's get into our lunge position first, static lunge. All right, get nice and strong, now wrap the weights. Beautiful, here we go, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, don't forget to breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Weights to your side, 10. 10, nine, eight, pay attention to the muscles you're feeling. Seven, stay focused. Six, stay mindful. Five, four, three, good work. Two, you got one more. One, now hinge forward, drop those weights off carefully. You're gonna go into a staying low, tap it in, and lunge. 10 times, here we go. One, two, I'm keeping a concentration on this forward leg three glute. Four, five, six, seven, hello. Eight, nine, one more. 10, oh, woo! Hello legs, shake them out. Good work. Let's do two more here. Nice work, last one, and shake them out. All right, grab some water. Okay, so now you know what you're doing, right? We're gonna go into that hang clean or deadlift squat row, but we're gonna take it from the top of the ladder. So five, four, three, two, one. So it'll be five deadlifts. Five squat rows, five hang cleans, five rack squats, five military press. All right, so if you can do heavier and you wanna wait till you get down to two or three reps, perfect timing. You can stay heavy, go as heavy as you can for as long as you can. All right, we're going for those deadlifts, come on now. All right, I'm gonna go to 20s here and see if I can push myself, all right? Push yourself if you can. Don't push yourself, because I'm telling you to. This is your workout, you know what you can do. Five deadlifts starting in four, Three, two, one. Hinge and stand. Remember, shoulders back and stand. Booty behind you. Three, weight on your heels. Two, nice work. Squeeze those glutes when you stand. And one, here we go. Squat row. Five, low here. Five, pull those elbows back. Four, abs are in. Three, yeah. Two, good work. And one. Now stand it up. Hang cleans. Hanging with the weights, cleaning them. Drag your elbows back, pull behind you. Two, three, I do these a lot with bars. Four, with weights it's a little different. 
hold it. Five squats, five. Wow. Four. Three. I don't know about you, I feel my abs big time. Two, come on, one more. Woo, we got a strict press. Five. Four, so stagger your feet if you need that extra. Three. Two. Oh, nice. All right, transitioning to fours. I don't know about you, my heart rate's booming. All right, shoulders back, good posture. Four deadlifts in three, two, one. Hinge, stand. It's one of the best exercises for you, the posterior chain. Three, four, your hamstrings and glutes. Here we go, going into squats. Here we go, four rows. Four, three, yep. Two, good work. And one, stand it up, hang clean. Hang it. Clean it. Hang it. Raise the hips. Two. Up. Three. Watch your elbows. Hold it here. Squats. Four. Three. Two. Up. One. Four. Straight press. Four. Three. Two. Oh. One. How you doing? We're going to threes. All right, if you need to pyramid up or down, now's your chance. Get ready. Three, two, one. <laughs> I squatted. I started again. One, <laughs> two. See what happens if you don't pay attention? Here's three. Squat rows. <sighs> yes, I am only human, guys. <sighs> Hang cleans. Three. <sighs> Hinge and squat. Hang two, hang those weights. Three squats. Hup. Hup. All right, three presses. Three, two. Good work. All right, you got two deadlifts. Shoulders back, abs are in. Here we go, two hinges. One, stretch and squeeze. Two, good, two squat rows. Two hang cleans, hang it, clean it, hang it, clean it. Rack squats, two, one, two military. Yeah, beautiful. All right, you got one all the way through. Wow, okay people, here we go, one hinge. And stand, one square row. Beautiful, stand it up, one hand clean. Ha. One squat. One military. And bring those weights down. Shake everything out. Roll your shoulders, abs in. Okay, so now we gotta finish her here. So what we're gonna finish with is we are going to do everything through one more time, eight of everything, all right? All I want is eight, eight of everything. Eight deadlifts, eight squat rows, eight hang, uh, hang cleans, eight squats, eight strict presses. That's it, just eight. So because the number is low, I want you to go as heavy as you can, okay? You know what the hell, let's do 10, why not? All right, here we go. 10 deadlifts start now in three, two, one. One. Two, go slower if you need to. Three, shoulders back. Four, stick that booty out. Five, hinging from your hips. Six, feel the stretch and squeeze your glutes on the way up. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, one more. Ten, beautiful. Ten squat rows at the base. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, yes. Five, Four, three, two, one. Ten hand cleans. Laying your load if you need to. Starting in three, two, one. One. I'm pushing through my feet. Two. Don't lean all the way forward. Three. Pull those elbows back. Four. Rack them. Five. Six. 
seven, eight, nine, hold on, 10, 10 squats, nine, eight, seven, six, five more, five, four, three, two, oh, wow, all right, 10 military, strict press, Woo! here we go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, come on, 5, 4, 3, 2, woo, oh my word, wow, water guys, beautiful, roll those shoulders back, cross back, hinge forward, shake them out, so let me know guys, how heavy you went, All right, if you pushed yourself and you have access to heavier weights, let me know how you did, so maybe you're used to working with 8s and you went to 10s, all right? Maybe you're used to working with 12s and you went to 15s. All right, so let me know. Even if it was just one round, squeeze those shoulders. All right, we're going into our lunges. So remember, we're going to, we're going to do that same move, all right? So you got 10 racked, 10 side, 10 stationary. We're going to start with the opposite leg. I am going to grab my 15s here. I could grab 20s, but I'm not, <laughs> all right? So let's start with our opposite leg. I'm gonna start with my left leg back. Static lunge position. Rack the weights, you've got 10. 10, nine, eight, yeah? Seven, good work. Six, beautiful. Here's five. Here's four. Here's three, good work. Here's two and one. Weights to your side. 10, nine, make each rep count. Eight, seven, six, Five, I'm gonna change things up slightly. Four, three, two, and one. Now just bring those weights down. Use your hands, hold on to them. You're gonna step in, step back 10 times. Here we go. 10, nine, big step, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, step it in, shake it out. I didn't feel that quite as intensely as I did the first round. All right, step it in, grab your weights, switch lead legs, 10. Rack them up, Woo! here we go. Three, two, one, 10, nine, eight, yeah. Seven strong, six, good work. Here's five, four, Three, two, here's one more. One, bring the weights to your side. 10, 10, nine, yep. Eight, seven, good work. Six, here's five more. Five, four left. Four, three, got two more. Two, woo, and one. All right, weights down right in front of that front foot. Take a giant step back, here we go, 10. One, big step, two, Big step, make sure you lower that knee. Three, four, five, you got five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. So, by holding on to those weights, get you a little lower to the ground. Wowie, okay. I'm at my heart rate there. All right, guys, you got our bird dog push ups. All right, from there, we're gonna actually stay on the floor. We're gonna do a little tricep and some bicep from there. So, grab some water, we're going down. See how we're doing time-wise here? Can't see the time, here we go. Okay, cool. All right, so, bird dog push-ups to get us started. All right, modify if you need to. All right, bird dogs, roll the shoulders, 
Modify it if you need to. We're going for one full minute. Time starts now. Push up. One side. Other side. Up. Head and neck stay aligned when you give me that push up for sure. A lot of times I see your head drop down. That chest should be hovering up the floor. Fingertips should be facing forward and will slightly flare out. Control is the name of the game. Head up. Keeping some time under tension on those shoulders. You got one more. Oh, that last one, a little chaotic, push back. Woo, nice. Let's come on up, let's roll it out. Perfect. All right guys, we're gonna come into some tricep work. So, what I want you to do is I want you to do some body weight. This is a phenomenal tricep. It's a tricep side push-up. So, we're gonna come onto your side. The side you're laying on, you're gonna take that arm, you're gonna wrap it around your waist, and it's gonna hang at the top. All right, your legs can be long, they can be bent, whatever feels right for you, all right? Hips should be stacked somewhat, your knees, like I said, can be bent, uh, they can be here, they can be out, whatever is gonna work for your hands in front of that elbow, so slightly in front of the elbow, not up by your shoulder. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna push yourself up and you're gonna slowly lowering down, using your arm here, your elbow, to lower you, all right? So this is your tricep working here. Your tricep is an extension of your elbow. All right, so if you can only do five or six, do five or six. All right, lay all the way back. I'm counting us down to 20. See, my, my hand is right by my elbow, maybe slightly in front of it. Lift it up. Oh my goodness, I couldn't even get up that one. Here we go, and lower. Now look at me, I am just touching with my bicep and lowering back down. I am not collapsing. Three, four, I'm keeping the concentration. Five on that tricep. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve more. 12, 11, if you need a break, take it, 10, 9, 8, my arm is shaking, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, oh, wow, who feels that, yeah? Alright, big burn. All right, so lay on your side here. I'm gonna take my hand behind my head. I'm gonna take my top leg, I'm gonna lift my bottom and lower them together. Here we go, up, lift, lower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Now bring that leg up, make me to touch it at the top for ten, for nine, for eight. Only seven more here. Seven, six, five, four left. Four, come on. Three, two to go. Two, nice work, and one. Right there. Yeah. So not only were you feeling that in your leg, hello, your waistline, right? All right, switch it out. You've got three sets of eight or two sets of 12, however you want to look at it. All right, so here we go. Lay on your side. Wrap that hand around. Opposite hand in front of your elbow. By your bicep here with the low end closer to your elbow. Here we go. One, two, Three, don't fully collapse. Four, concentration into that elbow. Five, six, seven, 
eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woo! Eight left here, guys. Eight, seven. Should be feeling these. Six, head, neck long. Five, don't tip that head. Four, mm, three, hello. Two, give me one more. Ah, woo. All right, wow. All right, lay it long. Top leg, bottom leg lift, lower together. So if this is too intense for you, just lower that bottom leg anyway. Three, four, five, six, seven. Just taking advantage. Eight of the positioning we're in. Nine. Ten. Bring that leg up. Tap it at the top for ten. Nine. Eight. Hello. Seven. Do you guys feel that? Six. The back of that waistline. Five. Four. Three. Good work here. Two. Nice work in one. Ah. Woo. Beautiful. All right, so we're gonna flip over onto our back. We're gonna need a set of weights for some bicep and for some back work. All right, so we're gonna add a little core here. So I'm gonna go with 15. This is for some bicep, guys. So we're gonna come into a bridge position. We're gonna do a bridge or a bicep curl from the bridge position. So elbows are down by your side. All right, your palms are to the sky. Level one, you stay down here. Level two, you'll come up into a bridge. Push your shoulder blades down. Elbows stay glued to the floor, curl up, and lower. Now you your palms are to the sky here. It's gonna be like digging out of mud as we do this. All right, pick your poison, booty down, booty up, squeeze your glutes, quads, hamstrings, here we go. Oh, getting them up is hard, one. Two, bring them all the way to the floor if you can. Three, keep those elbows pushed to the floor. Four, you're really isolating your biceps here. Five, similar to a preacher curl. Oh, six, come on. Hup. Seven, keep concentration into those biceps. Eight, nine, you're squeezing your glutes and quads. Ten, you got another set. Ten, nine, eight, yes. Seven, six, come on. Hup. Five, you got four going. Four, hop, three, two, oh, one, oh, lower your butt. All right, now one weight, two weights. Legs are gonna come up. You're gonna take the weight overhead. Do not bend your elbows and lift. Push your shoulder blades into the um, uh, floor. Now, if you can, you're gonna add a simultaneous alternate leg. All right, so you alternate sides. One weight or two, slight bend in your elbows, but do not bend your elbows like you're doing your tricep. Here we go. Optional leg. It's very similar to a dead bug. The only difference for is you got a lot of resistance and you're really working your lats. Oh. Eight more. Seven more. Six, come on now. Five, oh. Three. Two. Oh my God. Oh. Wow, that should have been intense for you. All right, we got one more bicep on our, while we're down here, we're gonna come to a standing, finish with a little bit of some shoulder and going into some band work to finish this whole thing off. All right, so here's your biceps here. All right, so we're gonna come up with both arms. Right, left, up, right, left, right, left, right, left. 
right, left. One more. Now left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Anytime you're kneeling, take the levers. Make your levers shorter so your core has to work harder. One more. Alternate. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, last five, 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 four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Oh. Woo. All right, guys. Come up to a standing. Shake them out. Let me see where we're at time wise. All right, four to six. All right, grab some water. All right. So, I want you to grab your band or your bungee or your tubing or whatever you have. So, we're going to start with a little bit of chest. You're going to take your band or tubing, whatever you have. You're either <coughs> one like this, you're going to wrap it. If you have a looped band, you'll just do the same. So you're going to come into a static lunge position here, but you're going to stay at the top end. You're going to push your chest out and open those arms. Now notice my arms are at a diagonal. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave with my elbows, and I'm going to pull down and back and squeeze my shoulder blades together. So front view is here. Squeeze it out. All right, so if you have a band, even a towel will work here, guys. Core tight. Drive the elbow. Pull back. Stretch. Kind of like a stand up fly here, too. Three, at a diagonal. Four. Five, keep your elbows up, don't lower them. Six, squeeze it out. Seven. Eight, you got two more like this. Nine. And ten, now you're going to come down, you're going to give me four pulses. Four, three, two, one, release. Four, three, two, one, release. Four, three, two, one, release. Elbows lifted. Two, three, four, release. One more like this. Three, four, release. Pulse, pulse. Two, three, four, chest out. Five, elbows lift. Six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, Two, one, one. Oh, well, head and neck. Hopefully you had your shoulders relaxed. All right, so keeping this here, maybe using your loop band here. Elbow to your side, tricep, lift lower. So all you're doing here is bending, extending, up, down. Yep. Another set of eight like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, hello, three, you feeling this? Two, one, beautiful. Now switch sides. Here we go. Sixteen, two, three, elbows is lifted. Four, five, six, seven, eight, again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, shake it out. Now we're going to go back to those static lunges. Other leg. Same thing, that diagonal, pulling down. Same sequence. All right, pull it down, release it out. Elbows lift, pull. Two, three, four. Come on now. Five, really working that chest. Five more. Four, your back's working here. Three. Triceps are coming along for the ride, two, and one. So it's four pulses, four, three, two, one. How's your elbows release? Four, three, two, one, release. It's very easy to drop those elbows. Release, I think this is three, I can't remember now. One more. Pulses only, pulse, pulse. Elbows, push them back, pull that band apart, pull. Pull, six, five, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, 
build. Woo! All right. So now we do another round of triceps. We're going to change the angle. So we're going to keep this elbow in. We're going to kick it back. Push it back. Push. All right. So if you need to make it tighter, grab more of it. All right. Less is less. You can also do this the free weight. Here we go. Two. Three. Four. Come on. Five. Bend and extend. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. Seven pulses are coming in. Six. Five. Four. Yes. Three. Good work. Two. Hold that pulse. Uh, 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 uh. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. By the time 4th of July comes, we're going to have some amazing triceps, guys. And there'll be no wibbly wobbly wobbly when we wave. All right, other side. Kick your poison. Lock and load. Opposite arm. Press it back. If you used a bungee, let me know. Keep going. I'm going to use one. exercise, we're going to do some rear rows. All right, so meet me at the bottom. This is one of my favorites. All right. So you got a couple of options here. So if you're using your band here, you're going to do some face pulling. All right, so you're just going to pull, actually we're going to start pulling back. Just pull the band in and out. Bungee's the same way. So I'm going to take my band. You probably can't see my legs here. So I'm going to loop my band because um, our legs are, are, I'm sorry, I can't think. Our back is a large muscle group, so it can handle significant weight. So I'm going to loop my band to give me a little more tension. All right, so do what's right for you. You can loop it one time. You can hold the handles here, or you can go a little bit lower at the base. All right, so if you don't have bands, you can easily simulate this with a, um, a towel. All right, so rear row, pull it in. Now pull it up. So it's in, it's up. Palms in, palms down. Pull with those elbows. As you pull back, I want you to think of squeezing your shoulder blades. Yeah. So these are slightly different than what we just did with those bands with the chest. We worked a little more chest. Now we're kind of going a little bit more into that back. Good. Now we're going to stay with the narrow rows for 10, 9, Eight, no, we did rows in our first, uh, beginning sequence. Five, we're gonna pulse these in. Four, three, two, good work. And one, oh, hold it. Now just pull the elbows back. Yeah, squeeze it out. Eight, seven, sit up tall. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Release it out right away. I start to feel right back into my shoulder blades. All right, that's what you wanna feel. If you're not feeling that, then you really start to need that muscle-mind connection a little bit more. All right, hands up, palms down. 10, nine, squeeze your shoulder blades. Eight, sit up tall. Seven, think about squeezing. Six, elbows back. Five, four, three. We're gonna change this, two and one. Now, if you have a banded handle, put both hands in the band. We're gonna do face pulls. You're gonna come up towards that forehead. Oh. Come on, squeeze back. Oh. Mm. Mm. Face pulls is one of the best rear back exercises. Four, three, you're gonna pulse it out in two. Hold it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, my back. Roll it out, stretch. Lift up that chest. Yeah. Woo! Love it, guys. Nice and strong. Release the shoulders. Press those arms up. 
Good, pull those elbows back. Awesome, all right. On your back, it's gonna finish with an isometric exercise. These are, um, we're gonna kind of similar to those dead bugs we did earlier, but we're gonna add an isometric hold. So I just want you to lay onto your back. I want you to take both of the heels of your palms and I want you to push them into the meaty part of your quad. All right, head down or head up. I like to start with my head up and then bring my head down. All right, so we're gonna do this for about a minute here. So it's really talking about bringing, building a fire into your core. All right, let me get my timer going here. All right, so here's what I want. I want you to lay all the way back. I want you to keep those heels up. I want you to take the meaty, meaty part of your palm and I want you to push it hard into your knees. All right, head down to start. Push your low back into the floor. And I want you to push as hard as you can into your knees. Now put your concentration into your low spine and your back. So make sure it's flat into the mat. Now I want you just to push, push, push. I want you to breathe. Do not hold your breath. Start feeling that fire. Now you can lift those shoulders off the floor to give yourself a little more intensity, but keep pushing. Do not release the tension. Push. My legs and my abs are shaking. You're halfway. If you need to put your head down, put your head down. Do not let that back arch. Oh, sometimes it helps to get those shoulders. Push harder. My legs are shaking, my abs are on fire. It's 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it in. Ooh, all right, so take your legs in a wide straddle, take your arms to the side. We're gonna lift up, we're gonna go to starfish here. So we're gonna go into 20 crunches and we're done. Here we go, reach lower. Two, three, I like to bring my head completely down. Four, five, six, come on. Seven, pull your body up to meet that toe. Eight, nine, don't just lean into that arm. You got one more set of 10. 10, nine, eight, come on, push up. Seven, Six, five, yes, four, three, two to go, two, one more, oh, wow, halves, hello, all right, bring those knees center, drop your hands to the left, bring your knees to the right, take your gaze to the hand side. Easy peasy breathing. Bring your hands center, knee center, flip flop. Good job guys. Bring your arms and knees forward, hug them in. Take one leg up to the sky, point your toe, flex your heel as you hug that opposite leg in. Four, three, two, and one, switch it out. Point flex, point flex, point flex again, point flex, ankle roll. Let's do that one more time. Hug those knees together, cross your ankles, push hard, let your knees separate here, just push them away. Excellent, bring those legs back together, separate them, bring both feet to the floor, cross one leg over the other, pull that leg up and stretch. Pull your shoulder blades off the floor. And bring that leg back down. Good, now just hold that figure four. Grab that foot into your hand. Hug it into your body, hold. Should be breathing, just feeling the stretch and release, let's take the other leg, cross it over, figure four, extend the bottom leg, press and extend. Feel that stretch, roll your shoulders off. Good work, excellent. Roll your shoulders back down, bend that knee, press it in and release it. Good, grab that leg, pull it in towards you. 
Do you get that stretch? Good job. And release it. Little half spinal rows for four, for three, for two. Seated position and one. Bring it out. Grab one toe, pinky toe toward your baby toe. Reach that opposite arm up to the sky, back to the sky. You're looking at your hand. Hold up to the sky. Switch the hand to the opposite foot. Open up behind you. Look and lift. Look and lift. One more and hold. Grab the opposite. Lean forward. Head falls down between those arms. Uh, beautiful. Grab a tricep. Stretch it back. Sit up tall. Good. Open those arms nicely, slowly to the floor. Tap the floor. Come up. Other side. Tap the floor. Fingertips behind your ears. Elevate the chin towards diagonal towards the sky. Pull the elbows back. Stretch your chest. Hold. Drop the chin. Look down. Back to center. Hold. Grab both those arms, pull your elbows back, squeeze your shoulder blades, turn, look over one elbow. Center, turn, look over one elbow. Back to center, hands behind you, squeeze your shoulder blades together, puff your chest, lift up as high as you can, hold it here. Release, walk your feet forward, coming into a slow, Standing forward fold, hold it here. Good, just let yourself bend, let yourself stretch. Grab an inhale, pull your body up. We're going to sh shrug the shoulders to your ear, hold it tight, retract back. Hold it tight, retract back. Hold it tight, retract back. And just hold. And now reach, roll forward. Six, five, four, three, two, one, press those palms out forward, stretch that bicep, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Release it, switch sides, take some extra time if you need it to stretch, guys. Step it out, we're gonna go into a ginormous inhale out, deep inhale, breathe in, expel out all that air, come to your heart center, Give yourself a round. Remember, protein is your building block of muscles whenever you do a full body strength. You want to replenish it with some hydration and protein. All right, so 15 minutes, 20 minutes after your workout, get something in that body with a high protein content, maybe 15, 20, no, no higher than 30. Make sure you fluid, drink lots of hydration and fluid to rehydrate that body. Hope you have a great day. See you soon. Bye.